It's not the things inside my head that keep me going. Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it. Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me. But I believe in something bigger. What's up guys? Okay, so today's Monday, it's the start of the week. Maybe I'll bring you around this side so there's not as much glare, but I just got to uh, my architect's office, so we've got a meeting. We're basically designing the joineries, so that involves the merchandise stand, the kitchenette, cupboards and all that for the, um, the toilets, so the colour scheme that we're going for. We've already kind of come up with some ideas, but we're just going to finalise that. Start of the week. 33 degrees outside, I don't think I'll even see a lick of sun, because we just got shit to do. So that's the colour we've got externally. Yep. This is the internal colour scheme. Mm -hmm. tree. That's the roof, and then this grey is the wall, wall. And this is the wall. And, this and these are the accents. The highlights. Yeah. Highlight accent colour. And then this is the tile. Yeah. Okay, that's the entrance. Is that, that's for the, the entrance, yeah? Entrance, yeah. That's yeah. non-slip? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Okay. This is the wall tile. Oh, yeah, love it. Okay. Clean. So, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice one. So that'll be like a big patch, and then the mirror will bite into it like that, yeah. which will be quite interesting. So, so you're going to get that sort of effect. Oh, yeah. And then that matches all the neon then, highlights through the then, gym. Then that's the combo like that. Yeah, grouse. Disappeared. Yeah, yeah. Black acrylic. Black acrylic. It's going to be black acrylic. Yeah. Not painted. Hey guys, All right, so I hope you enjoyed that little bit of an insight to the designing side of things in terms of how we're going to build the gym. And we've literally picked the colours for everything, so that's pretty uh, tedious stuff, but it's kind of fun because I get to custom design everything myself. So anyway, I'm just at my haircut appointment, about to hop in there, and then I'll uh, show you guys what it looks like when I come out. Wow guys, it is turning quick. It's 30 something, 32 degrees outside, but if you saw the weather this morning, I don't know if you guys could see the skies, it's blue skies, and now it's cloudy as hell. Now check the weather forecast, it's supposed to thunderstorm later. But it's kind of weird because it's so hot, but I can feel the rain's coming. Doot, doot. Anyway, guess where I am, post haircut feed, sushi and burpees. So I opted for the chicken and avocado roll, which has about 30 grams of carbs, which is pretty standard for two pieces of bread, and three grams of sugar, so it's not too bad. You obviously get the chicken and the avocado, which is good for you, so it's not a bad little meal. From 7-Eleven, five dollars a pop. Happy days! Oh yeah, the heavens have turned. It looks like it's about to start thunderstorming any minute now. I'm going to give it another 20 minutes, so what time is it? 1.30. Let's say 1.50, it's going to start spitting. By 2.01, it's going to start really raining. And then by about 3 p.m., it's going to start thunderstorming. Oh, 1.46. The rains are here. You watch by 2.01. It's going to be pissing down. Ah, uh, shit, I forgot to film it. 2.05 now, but it started pissing down a good couple of minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, 2.01, I predicted it. The roads are soaked. Soaked! What's up YouTube? Eddie Active here. <laughs> so just about to head to um, the warehouse so that we can start moving these boxes that I've had in my house for like six months. I pre-ordered all the stock ages ago in terms of like the hoodies, the hats, the shakers and all that sort of shit. So we are just about to head to Bunnings to buy some shelving. So basically I want to start getting the merchandise part of my website up so that when the gym launches that then I can start selling all those on my website. So what we're going to do today, move all this shit over here. So we're gonna go do that and then just look at like shelving, stock count, that stuff. Anyway, so that's the first thing that we'll be doing today. I don't know why I got my headphones around my neck. I guess I just got a little bit too excited then. But... Ellie, you gotta stay here. Sorry. Ah, ah, ah. No, 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 no. Back inside. No, 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 no. Come on, inside. Little muff. I like the black. Yeah, that's, that's very sleek. Just load up. His car with my dirty ass boxes, that's how we do it. Oh, it's got that new car smell. <sighs> Alright, so we're just stopping by the warehouse, as in the gym. They're supposed to have put all the walls up on the office. Just to update you guys on the office, they've put up the um, 
Luca Bond, which is the outside material. Right, so it's all coming together. Now you guys can kind of see what the walls are going to look like once the mirrors go up. So that is basically the same size as the mirrors, and then they'll just stick the mirrors on top of that. And now with the roof, I'll show you guys what the roof's going to look like. So they're putting this steel framing up around the whole entire roof. And then they're going to put these mesh things like that all across there. So then the LED lights will sit just on top or underneath and then the roof will be completely flush along this line where the grey meets the black. So Belmont Construction are the guys taking care of my building just in case you guys need any work done. Make sure you hit up the website or contact this number here. They do an absolutely amazing job. Couldn't be happier with the build on how it's going. In terms of the quality of the build, it is just like phenomenal. You guys have pretty much seen it from what the warehouse was to what it's becoming. It's gonna be off its titties. Right, so we went and bought the shelves from Bunnings and boy are they heavy. Got back to the warehouse now, so we're just about to go and set them up. Carried them all up the stairs and shit. One man facing forward, one man facing backwards, nearly fell down the stairs. <laughs> I really should have tried to film it, but anyway. Here we boom ready. We've got the shelves. Let's see how long this takes us to set up. So it's 2.26 now. We'll see how many hours it's going to take us. We're not exactly experienced in building shelves, but they don't look too complicated. Half an hour in. We're getting there. Trial and error, baby. <laughs> so obviously, once you set up the first frame, you realize the right ways everything's supposed to go and you take out the wrong one then you fix it it's becoming a lot more uh, easier <laughs> all right 320 we got the first one up. <laughs> I think it was about an hour to set the first one up but now that we know what we're doing it should be a lot easier we got two more to go and we should be out of here by five <laughs> So we're shaving down time. First one took us like an hour, 25. I reckon we can knock out the next one in about 18 minutes flat. We're done. Two hours later, three shelves set up. So we'll fill these up with some stock and then we're gonna go buy some more and do it all again. Set up a couple more racks along this walkway here. All right, the big dog showered, and I'm about to whack the aircon on because it is heating up already. And I want to come home to a nice, cool breeze hitting me in the face as I walk through that door. Anyway, pre-workout, intra-workout, post-workout, getting it ready. About to head off to the gym. We're going to go train at Doherty's, smash out a quick arm session. All right, so for today's shakes, I'm not adding in any extra carbs uh, before my workout or during my workout. Because it's arm day today, it's a smaller muscle group for me, so I'm not going to have all that extra carbs, and I'll probably actually restrict my carbs throughout the day. So I'm just having amino energy with a little bit of leucine as my intra, and I'm having a beta pump with agmatine as my pre. And that's it, man. No more carbs. All right, we're at the gym. About to start on my arm workout. I've just decided that I'm gonna superset buys and tries together. Now, I don't normally do this, but I just feel like mixing it up a little bit.
up. I forgot how much this hurts. So I just finished up doing the barbell curl superset with the dumbbell overheads. Now I'm gonna do just the one arm preacher, which is like my usual exercise. Superset with weighted dips, weighted dips. Fuck, so out of breath from doing those drop sets and then throwing that dumbbell above my head. But we gotta keep it moving. Thing, the yellow thing. Oh. oh, yeah, gotcha. Bye. What do you mean, bye? I'm not done yet. All right, guys, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wrap up today's footage there. I hope you enjoyed the workout, but also the little bit of insight to what's happening with the gym and the progress of it. So, we're not too far from opening. I'm gonna keep you guys updated as much as possible and drop in there so that you guys can see how much is coming together in these last final weeks. But today's post notification shout out would go to J7Rush who said, you know I get them notification, you guys are sizzling. Tell mama ang bonjour. So there you go. I'm sure she would have seen it. Anyway, if you want a shout out, all you gotta do is go to my channel, click the bell next to the subscribe button, turn post notifications on, come back, leave me a message just like that, and then I'll pick someone new every single day. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you tomorrow. Where are you now?